As we discussed this example, we saw two set of users. One is the obfuscated data users and the other set is real data users. As masking policies are applied on the roles on Snowflake, we will create different roles for obfuscated data users and real data users. To create different roles, we will run these statements. Create role analyst. Analyst role will see the obfuscated data. Let's see how. So analyst role is created. We will now create analyst underscore real, which will see the real data. And when one role, which is developer, we are creating this as additional role. Now we are going to create a custom role. Let's understand why. So on Snowflake, when you are working for an organization, there would be a person who would be responsible for the security of the account which means that person would be kind of security admin which would be restricting the accesses of the people and also they would be applying the column level security on Snowflake. So we will create a custom role here by name of masking admin by just writing create role masking admin that role is created. Now we are going to grant privileges to that role so that they can create the masking policy respectively. We are going to write create masking policy on schema employee since we are going to apply everything under employee schema to role masking admin. Let's run that. Now we will, we will run grant apply masking policy on account to role masking admin so that it can make any changes for the account. Let's create a table now to apply the masking policy. I am creating employee underscore info table which consists of five columns. Let's create this table. So that is created under employee schema. Refresh demo DB employee and we have the employee underscore info table. Now let's insert some values in this table. So we have seven values here which consist of respective values for salary, department, dates and etc. Seven rows has been inserted. This is done. The next step is to grant privileges to the analyst roles that we created in the beginning to these roles. For that, we will grant select access of this table to these roles. For that, we can write grant select on table, then the table name to role analyst, analyst real and developer. Let me run one by one. The roles have now access to all of these tables. Then we will create a masking policy. Let's focus here as currently Snowflake does not support different input and output data types as we have also seen in the previous lecture, such as defining the masking policy to target time, target a timestamp and return a string. Let's see what does it mean. So to create a masking policy, we write create or replace masking policy, then the masking policy name. And here, this is the input where we specify what data type is there for the input column and it returns this is the output value that it can return. So this masking policy says when the current role of the user is either analyst real or account admin then show them the actual value which is val else show them this masked value which is the dummy value for the salary. So this is the input column which we are using here to show the original values to the analyst real users and the account admin user. And here we are displaying the dummy value for all other roles except analyst real and account admin. Let's create this policy and we can see that this policy is created successfully. However, let's try one more time. Let me change it to string. Now my input data type and output data type has been changed and let me cre recreate this policy. We can see that declared return type, this is in incompatible with the actual return type of number. If even we do the reverse of it, I make it string here, then also it will give us same error. I hope this point is clear to you. Now let's also create another policy. So the upper one was for num numbers. 
let me recreate it and this one is for strings for numbers we are displaying the dummy value as multiple nines for the strings we are displaying 10 times asterisk so here what we are saying for any string value which is the input return the string as the masked value 10 times asterisk for the roles except analyst real developer and the account admin so these roles will be shown as the original value which is coming from the input as string and all other roles will see the obfuscated value for the respective columns now let's create this policy as well so now we have two policies on our schema i am saying on the schema because all these masking policies are restricted to the schema level itself if we access this masking policy from other schema rather than employee we will see the error let's move ahead and work on applying the policies to the respective columns now we have a column which is salary which consists of number values let's take a look at them we have the salary as number values and currently i'm accessing through account admin role if we run alter table if exists employee underscore info what we are saying if the employee underscore table is existing then modify a column which is salary and set the masking policy which is the policy name so what it will do it will apply the this masking policy to the salary column of employee underscore info table so the policy has been applied it is pretty straightforward to apply a masking policy on snowflake and it does perform a really nice job for the developers as well as for the organization now we will apply the second policy which is there for strings we will write the same statement except we will change the column name and the masking policy name which are there for strings now we will apply this on department so that is also done it's time to see the things in action for that we will run the statement to see the data through the analyst real role currently you can see i am accessing the account admin role let me switch it to analyst real okay so i have not assigned this role to the current user let's do that so we can write grant role analyst real to user and the username similarly we can write for analyst role and the developer role let's try so the role has been granted let me use analyst real role now as we can see the analyst real role is there we do not have any warehouse to use by the analyst real role or any other roles that we have just created so let's also sign a warehouse to them so we can write grant grant usage on warehouse compute wh to role analyst real and we can also apply the same thing for analyst role and the developer role to apply all these i can change my role to account admin and now apply to analyst real analyst and developer so we will also apply the schema access to them for that we can write grant usage on schema employee to role analyst real for that again i have to change the role to account admin that is done and the same same statements can be run for the other roles as well okay now let, let's again try let's change the schema to employee and do the select star now we can see the output as the salaries however if we use the analyst role now and do a select star from the same table we can see the data has been masked 
the salary column consists of multiple nines as we specified and the department column is being reflected by the string which is 10 time asterisk so this is what we want to achieve using the masking policy let's also check on developer role so this developer role can see the original data for the department however obfuscated data for the salary this is because if we see the definition of the masking policy we have used developer role here to see the real data for the numbers sorry for the strings but for the numbers we have not used developers developer role so that's why it can see the real data for the department and of course get data for the salary i hope this concept is clear to you and i hope you can now apply data masking policies on snowflake to apply the column level security